Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Chef. My name is Tyler, and today we're breaking down a channel cat. Yep. Channel catfish, the most common catfish in the U.S. Um, caught him in a, a river nearby, Pelatlakaha River. First thing we want to do is we want to gut him with a sharp knife. Right? So just a small incision right there along the torso. Just enough to expose the guts inside. And, and that's what we're doing. We're gutting the fish. That's the dirtiest part. It's the worst part. But it's got to be done. So just take your finger. Wiggle it in there. You work the guts out. You don't want to rip them open. You don't want to release any other liquids inside the fish. That shouldn't be there. Use the knife if you have to. Right, take a sharp knife, follow the cord all the way down the uh, digestinal tract, and then cut it out. And that's all we're gonna do. Super fresh fish, eyes are clear, right? No cloudiness, it still looks alive. That's what we want. But we don't want this on the cutting board though, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. Alright, first thing we're gonna do is make an incision behind the uh, first fin behind his head Make a nice deep cut That's going to be the start of the fillet the wide part and then we uh, for every fish we trace it down the back It's a little bit different with this guy. I had a little bit of a Rough time with them because his skin was so tough catfish have just such tough leathery skin But regardless any fish that you're gonna fillet and try to get a boneless fillet off of you trace the knife along the ribs Just back and forth not back and forth in one direction actually just keep following the same direction And then you do the same thing on the other side You fall you work that that thin blade in between where the meat and the ribs are and you rub keep pressure as it's like you're like rubbing a cup against some bars asking for spare change you want to hear that there you go and then you got a nice fillet so now we're gonna skin them hold the skin taut while letting the blade just glide underneath the meat you're pulling the skin of the fish in the opposite direction of the blade. So first, to get a piece of that fish in your grip, you need to make a small incision like this one. Grab it, then go ahead and get a good grip and pull or hold it tight in one spot. See the meat's already just sliding off the skin exactly how it should be. Trim it up if you have to. Get rid of it. Grab a baking dish. All right. Place your fillets in there. And we're not going to eat them right away. We're going to let them sit for a day. So I'm going to let them sit in some buttermilk. This is a day later. They've been soaking in buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use whole milk, but just add some acid to it. Either vinegar or lemon juice or anything that's higher in acidity. So there we go, we pat them off, they're ready, ready to be seasoned. This is slow food, it takes a day. A little salt, a little pepper. And then we can bread. Just an egg solution there, and we pat our filet and into dry flour so it's nice and coated then we can give it a good dunk into the egg mixture and same thing repeat into the bread mixture the bread crumb both sides we don't want any meat exposed then you have a beautiful beautiful fillet And then you just repeat that over and over again to till you uh, run out of meat or 
till you run out of breadcrumb. One of them's gonna happen. Get all that <clears throat> good flavor. In the meantime, we can cut up uh, some sides. I went with some sweet potato. All right, I just did some sweet potato rounds. And what I'm gonna do is stack them on top of each other in a cupcake pan, just because you can use a flat pan, but I just didn't want them to slide off of each other. I guess I could have just baked them flat and then stacked them, but I didn't have a flat sheet available immediately. So just season them up, stick them in here. Put them in the oven till the plate's ready. Some bok choy, not necessarily in season, but uh, they were available and they were very delicious with um, our trip to Kim's Cabbage Patch where we picked up fresh produce. It's amazing. Stick a toothpick in the oil, see if it's ready to fry. It is, let it go, boom. I had another one. You want to give it about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on the thickness of the fish. You could even go a minute on each side, just a shallow fry. And if it's got that deep, dark, golden brown, it's safe to assume that the fish inside is done. Now it's time to plate. We just sauteed that bok choy. Three pieces on a plate felt good at the time. You can do this however you want. And then I just, yeah, skewered my sweet potatoes. Onto the plate. The main attraction, catfish. And we'll go ahead and bunch it together to kind of create some more negative space. And just for like a little joke at the end, I used some leftover sweet and sour sauce. And there you have it, catfish.